Hello, hello everyone, I am Andrew Dornan, also known as the 12th Kind here on YouTube, and today we are flying all over the map, woo! <laughs> uh, but no, we're actually landing in the Forest of Hope. Uh, why? Well, because uh, in the previous uh, day, we were trying to get the Nova Blaster back, but we could not because we failed to uh, get rid of the, the, the giant bulb orb that was in the way. And uh, as a result, we lost 37 Pikmin in that one fight. Uh, so to start the day off, I want to grab uh, da, 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 20 yellows. And the reason why is, well, you probably saw when we landed, there is this giant 20 pellet. And I'm going to just get those guys on that so that way they have something to take home. And it looks like a few of them don't want to work. Excuse you. Do not ignore my whistle. Help your brothers. Holy crap. Brothers and sisters. Oh, brother. Sorry, I don't know why. Uh, but ever since high school, I, I make the occasional Hulk Hogan joke whenever um, I hear or utter the phrase brother. Like, oh, brother. Uh, but anyways, so now we have a hundred Pikmin out, and that is great, so that way we don't have to worry about uh, picking any Pikmin out of the ground. Uh, real quick, once they get uh, that in the onion, excellent. Guys, guys, come over here. I have a task. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Uh, what I want to do is I want to pluck this grass, see if there's any nectar inside. Uh, there, I think there's a little bit that dude tripped. Uh, there's a little bit of randomness to it or it's on a respawn timer, but there will be sometimes that you pluck grass. Really? No nectar? What was that voice? I don't even know. Um, but yeah, there was no nectar there. What the heck? Well, let's try this one. See if there's any nectar in here that we can get. Yes! Yes, feast! Feast on the nectar. <laughs> do not uh, ask me what that was about, because I don't even know. All right, do we have all flowers? <gasps> yes, we do. It's the magnificent sight. All right, so first, why are we missing two? Oh, it's because two are over there. Well, that leads me to my next explanation. Uh, when Pikmin are in their flower state and they die. Uh, they actually have a pretty high chance of leaving seeds behind and um, over the course of like a day or two uh, these seeds will sprout and uh, you'll be able to uh, pluck them all right so real quick let's just grab uh, that get that going um, there are probably gonna be some Pikmin there like yeah no we got them all okay cool um, aha so we got one over here and pluck him um, let's see, where was the other one? The other one was, for some reason, behind here. Oh, did I see it? Yep, he is right there. All right. Uh, well, welcome to the world. You drop yourself there. I believe these were the ones that we lost yesterday. And it's nice that they are uh, in flower form. Yep, just moo. All right, so we have everyone here, and we got the Nova Blaster. Even has a little iron sights, which is interesting. I wish we could test it. Nova Blaster. This weapon is uh, this is a weapon of such incredible destructive force that it can blast stars into tiny pieces. It has a strange allure. I've recovered five out of thirty ship parts, increasing my uh, increasing the dolphin's capabilities. My search can now cover a wider area. And now the ship will start repairing itself, adding some gears, putting some metal on it. And being a bit more shiny. Thank goodness for shiny stuff. Alright, so... <laughs> now that that weirdness is taken care of, we can uh, continue on uh, back to base. I would like to get some more bomb rocks. Although, I think this should be good enough uh, for over here. Uh, is it just the one? Is it just the female? Okay, good. Uh, Part of me was concerned that a male shield grub was still uh, waiting around here. And with that, we have... Get up! What the heck, dude? Seriously. <laughs> it's the extraordinary bolt. 
I bought this incredible bolt because the salesman told me it is extraordinary quality uh, that is indiscriminable to the average person. Exactly what makes it so uh, extraordinary is uh, a secret. But just look at it. Extraordinary. Uh, okay, Olimar. Mr. Gets suckered into buying anything. Ah. Uh, that poor man probably would not survive at a used card sale slot or er, lot. Ugh. Um, I don't think there's any more walls that we can take down. Um, there is a ship part there and over here, but we can't do anything about that because our current Pikmin cannot traverse water. Uh, I'm going to drop these guys off at base, the yellows. And I'm going to take some reds, and we're going to get up! Jesus Christ. We're going <laughs> to head back t uh, to that area and see about um, doing some stuff. By that, I mean trying to claim that other ship part. So the 46 yellows? Is this all reds? No, there's some yellows on there. Yeah, a few. A small handful. Alright, and we got... Uh, that bolt in there, which I don't see. Extraordinary bolt. This bolt's bolt holds the kind of value that only a true connoisseur can understand. I have now recovered 6 out of 30 parts. If I can just find 6 more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. <laughs> Moo! Alright guys, go back in the onion. There we go. Uh, it might not be a great idea to take 80. So I'm gonna put some back um yeah let's put 30 away that should be good uh also i think i made a mistake uh the the small number in the middle is how much that you are transferring between the onion and the ground so that 30 was us putting 30 away um and the 50 at the bottom was how much we would have after transfer which I think is what I said like get up holy crap you're a flower a red flower what the heck is wrong with you come on don't scream get over here before you wake up that dude don't don't touch the freaking butt what the heck dude oh my gosh no Go back to sleep, you dingle bear. Jesus Christ, you're right there. That might be beneficial to us, though. <sighs> Y'all are such dingleberries. What did I tell you? Tell you not to tickle his nose, and what do you, you do? You tickle his nose. Well, now, just rush his butt. There we go. No, nobody grab the spoils. Half of your buds, because you got shook. You done got spooped. All right, now do that again. Attack his butt. What the heck? What the heck? Why aren't you doing damage? Take him out. Take him out. Oh. Come on, guys. Holy crap. Well, thankfully, we hadn't lost anyone. So, the sequence break. Uh, in the GameCube version, your cursor is only, like, so far ahead of you. However, in the Wii version, your cursor has a much uh, farther reach. And so you can do this little number. All right, there we go. Guys, 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 get out of the way. Get out of the way. Holy crap. All right, so what we're doing is we're taking our reds um, and uh, taking them through here. I'm actually going to toss them, and then there's a specific enemy that we're after because it's the only way that a ship part could be underground is if it's in the belly of a beast. All right, come on. Keep tossing them. Here we go. I don't trust taking like any across the way. Uh, all right. Whew. All right. Got these guys. Oh, shoot. All right. So we need to go over that way, but it looks like Kaka! It looks like a bird. These are burrowing snaggerts. They can uh, hold a a chunk of Pikmin in their beaks. No. He got one! He got Jimmy! Retreat! We need to defeat this one! No, get back in your hole. Get back in your hole! No! You got Deborah! No! You got Jimmy and Deborah? Oh shoot! 
Get back in your hole, you stupid bird. You snake bird. All right, come on. Yeah, no, 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 no. Retreat, 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 retreat. Ah, oh, jeez. All right, so the tactic I want to do is if it gets back down in its ground, if it can uh, get stuck like that, you want to swarm his head because the head is the weak point. All right, guys. All right, guys. Get back down. Get back down. Come on. Yes, yes. Hit him again. Hit him again. Swarm his head. Destroy him. Kaka! Uh, excellent work, gents. Ah, uh, we did it. We got the Geiger counter. It's the Geiger counter. Every spaceship needs one of these, but I don't actually know what it's for. Every once in a while, it goes wild and lets out a lot of noise. I never pay much attended, uh, attention to it, so it doesn't really do me that uh, do me much good. I really should read the manual one of these days. The fact that he doesn't know what a Geiger counter is for kind of makes me sad sometimes. Um, guys, that's not that's not an efficient way. That's not an efficient way, guys. Guys, 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 shoot, 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 shoot. Okay. So they're doing that because they're crazy. They're fast enough. Oh shoot. Oh. If I can if I can distract him. No, 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 no. Too dangerous. Too dangerous. No, don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. Get back here. Yeah, we're not doing that. Yeah, screw that noise. <laughs> a bit, a bit startled, are we? Uh, the answer, of course, is yes. Um, all right, two Pikmin over there. Whoo wee! <sighs> startled much? The answer, of course, is yes. We lost three Pikmin. Ah, well, it's better than yesterday, where we lost thirty-seven. Yeah. Ah, the glittering beetle. The iridescent glint beetle. No, 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 no. Don't follow into the water. You dingleberries. You could have drowned. Get up. I saw you. <laughs> you tripped. I don't appreciate that. <gasps> All right, come on, y'all at the onion. All right, you brought the Geiger counter back. Thank you. And that goes at the front of the ship. <laughs> could you really read the Geiger counter if it was at the front of the ship? Depending on how the cockpit. No, I don't think you could. Well, anyways, Geiger counter. This noisy gauge is always letting off spontaneous clicks and buzzes. It can be kind of annoying. I now, I have now recovered seven out of thirty ship parts. If I can find just five more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. Excellent. All right. Well, that is being taken care of as we speak. Um, I believe it is in our best interest to keep. Uh, the numbers going as far as getting more Pikmin all right so while we are here we can uh, work on getting this bridge uh, taken care of just as like something to work on so that way we have that taken care of all right so I'm gonna need someone to pick that up excuse me I said someone to pick that up thank you thank you Jimbo uh, <laughs> Jimbo's like hey where's um Where's uh Deborah and and Jeffrey and Jebediah? Like um uh where are they, Captain Elmore? Uh, uh they they're uh they're in the the pellet posy forest up north. Oh wow, that's that's a long uh, that's a long travel. Uh, how they get that so quick? Um uh they they hitched a ride. Yeah, Captain Omar, I feel like there's something that you're not telling me. No, no, it's all fine. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, uh, okay, I mean, if, if you say so, I mean, I trust you. You wouldn't lead us to our death, would you, Captain Omar? Um, no. I love you guys. Aww. Ah, <sighs> uh, silly. All right, so I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna get. 10, 10 yellows, a good amount. All right, come on, guys. Okay, good, nobody picked up a bomb rock. <laughs> that would have been, what the heck? Can you not run straight? <laughs> he was like running sideways. All right, um, Pikmin have a reach. Oh, are we at our limit? Oh shoot, we can't, oh, we can't sequence break, Never mind. We need to come back here uh, later. It's really unfortunate, but you know, that is how the cookie crumbles. 
That's fine. Alright, well, let's get these guys up in here. There we go. Man, you know, thinking about it, it people are like, ah, oh, the Pikmin are so stupid or whatever. But, like, when you think about it, like, this is... They're onions, like that's aerodynamics, like that's engineering, that's science and mathematics, physics, calculus. These are actually really intelligent creatures. Like, think about it, like yeah, they trip a lot, but like maybe that's because like their legs are so short and they don't really have that developed kneecaps. Like, think about it. Think about it. Oh my gosh, Pikmin are actually super intelligent. Nobody gives them enough credit. Think about it. They are so intelligent, they can make these. And they are like mobile bases. They live here. They breed here. They die here. Well, not necessarily like in the onion, but like you, you get what I'm saying. But like, just think about it. Holy crap, these are super intelligent. I know the game can't really like, oh my gosh, what's Pikmin culture like? Do they have their own renaissance? How did they evolve? What are they the descendants of? How are they able to be a plant-animal hybrid? What? I guess they have a language. Moo is their excitement, but like, what if they have a limited vocabulary in their language? Oh my gosh, these are questions that I need answered. Oh my gosh! We have an entire civilization at our disposal! Or, what if these are the rogue elements? That's why their onions had been deactivated for some time. They were on the run. They're outlaws from their main society. <gasps> Wait, what if... Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my god, what the heck was that all about? <laughs> Sorry, I just got really excited for like a hot minute there, holy crap. But you, you can't deny the evidence that is before us. Spotlights, command modules, holy crap. What would a Pikmin space fleet be like? What would their weapons be? Could they dominate the galaxy? They already know how to how to harvest natural explosive material. What's stopping them from making their own war machine? Oh my god! Oh my god! They could be the next spacefaring empire. Holy crap! <laughs> Sorry, I'm still hung up on that. <laughs> uh, four days since impact, with its newly increased functions, the dolphin now lifts higher into this planet's atmosphere. I see a great depression in the woods beneath me. It looks like a belly button in the vast forests. Now that my ship is more stable, I should be able to set it down there. So in his log entry, he calls it the belly button, which we'll see in a minute uh, what he names the area. But yeah, we lost three in battle today, but we sprouted 36. So we lost a total of 40 Pikmin. Youch. We have recovered seven ship parts. We have 23 parts remaining and 26 days left. Uh, so we're doing really good on progress as far as efficiency goes. That's very nice. Uh, so... We have this area here, the Forest Naval. Uh, I think it has it has one more ship part. Excuse me, than the Forest of Hope. Um, but this is definitely where we want to go next to start getting some uh, extra stuff. But that is where I'm going to end it here for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, real quick, if you really liked my theory or want me to come up with more crazy Pikmin theories, uh, let me know in the comments down below. Even though I am pre-recording these en masse, this video is actually being recorded about four or five months before its release day. Um, I could make some videos that is just my Pikmin theories. 
I could totally do that. So let me know what you think about that in the comments down below. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next uh, in the next Pikmin day for some more Let's Play Pikmin. Bye bye.